Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this trigonometric equation using algebraic substitution. Remember in our previous lesson we have derived some important algebraic expressions that we can use in terms of other trigonometric ratios. So we have 3 sine theta equal to root 3 sine theta plus 3 cosine theta plus 3 sine theta and we are looking for this angle multiples of these angles that can satisfy this equation all right let's get started remember in our previous lesson we have seen that sine theta is equal to 2t divided by 1 plus t squared and cosine theta is equal to 1 minus t squared divided by 1 plus T squared you have seen that previously so wherever we have sine theta we are going to replace it with this and cosine theta with this so to the left hand side we have 3 multiplied by sine theta which is 2t divided by 1 plus t squared this is equal to root 3 multiplied by 2t divide by 1 plus t squared i should have written let right let the whole of this be that plus 3 multiplied by cosine which is 1 minus t squared divided by 1 plus t squared and the last one we have plus 3 multiplied by sine which is 2t divide by 1 plus t squared already you have seen that this and this are exactly the same so we can cancel them what we have we can bring this one to the left hand side so let me expand we can expand this as 2 root 3 t right divide by 1 plus t squared then plus 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 minus 3 t squared divided by 1 plus t squared the whole of this equal to 0. So what do we do next? You can see that their denominators are the same therefore we can add the numerators. So to the top we have 2 with 3 t plus 3 minus 3 t squared divided by 1 plus t squared the whole of this equal to 0. You know our denominator cannot be 0 therefore we are going to set the numerator to be equal to 0. Well, we can rearrange the equation as negative 3 t squared then plus 2 with 3 t then plus 3 the whole of this equal to zero let us multiply both sides by negative one so we have three t squared or other signs will change minus two root three t the minus three equal to zero this is a quadratic equation which we are going to solve in terms of t so you know the leading coefficient a is equal to three b is equal to negative 2 root 3 and c is equal to negative 3 and our formula t is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac divided by 2a now let us substitute t is equal to minus b and already b is minus is negative so we have positive 2 root 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is negative 2 root 3 all squared minus 4 multiplied by a and a is 3 they multiply by c and c is negative 3 divide by 2 multiplied by 3. Okay, let's simplify. 
t is equal to 2 root 3 plus or minus the square root of the whole of this squared negative 2 squared is positive 4 and root 3 squared is 3 and 4 times 3 is 12 so we have 12 we have minus here and we have minus here so it becomes plus we have plus here 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 3 is 36 so we have 36 right here divide by 6 t is equal to 2 root 3 plus or minus the square root of 48 divide by uh, 6 square root of 48 is the same thing as 4 root 3 because 16 times 3 is equal to 48 so we can write this as 2 root 3 plus or minus 4 root 3 divide by 6 so let's put that break it down this is equal to 2 root 3 plus 4 root 3 divide by 6 or 2 root 3 minus 4 root 3 divide by 6 these are the forcible values of t so to the top we have 6 root 3 divided by 6 or negative 2 root 3 divided by 6. t could either be equal to root 3 because 6 will cancel 6 or you know 2 can go into 6 3 times negative root 3 divided by 3. But remember, what is t? t is not a but tangent of theta divided by 2. We have derived that initially in our previous lesson. So it is only when tangent of theta, let me even write it here. Tangent of theta divided by 2 equal to t, that is when these two are possible, right? So we are going to substitute tangent of theta divided by 2 equal to t tangent of theta divided by 2 is equal to t which implies that tangent of theta divided by 2 could either be equal to root 3 or tangent of theta divided by 2 equal to negative root 3 divided by 3. Let me start with tangent of theta divided by 2 equal to root 3. We want to find out tangent of what angle is equal to root 3. Therefore, arc tangent of root 3 is pi over 3. So theta divided by 2, which is the angle, is equal to pi over 3. And you know that tangent is periodic after every pi. So we add multiples of pi, pi k. For which k is an integer so from here if you multiply both sides by 2 you have the angle is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k for which k belongs to the set of integers so let me come back to this one again tangent of what angle is equal to negative root 3 divided by 3 you can use your unicycle or press calculator. On your calculator, you can take tan inverse of negative root 3 divided by 3, which is going to give you negative pi over 6. So the angle theta divided by 2 is equal to negative pi over 6. And you know that tangent is periodic in every pi, right? So you add all the multiples of pi. So by multiplying both sides by 2, we have theta equal to negative pi over 3, then plus 2 pi, 2 pi k. So what is the smallest possible angle for this negative pi over 3? If you add 360, which is 2 pi to this negative pi over 3, you're going to obtain 5 pi over 3. So theta is equal to 5 pi over 3 plus 
2 pi k. Remember, k belongs to the set of integers. So these are the possible solutions to our main equation. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.